Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to create a song using the Looper in BandLab. Tap on the BandLab app. Tap on the plus icon. Tap on Open Studio. Then tap on Looper on the pop-up menu. Tap on a tab to select the type of music you want to create. Here, I will tap on Pop. Tap on the play icon on a looper image to hear the type of song you can create with that looper. Tap on the pause icon to stop the demo playing. Then tap on the plus icon to select the looper. Before we start creating a song, here are a few of the basics of how to use the looper. Tap on a pad to start the pad playing. Tap on the pad again to stop it playing. Or tap on a pad that is the same colour. The pad will stop playing and the new pad will start playing. The pads start, stop or change between the same colour pads in time with the tempo. The tempo circle shows the four beats of a bar measure and pads will start, stop or change on the first beat of the tempo circle. To create our song, let's start with an intro. Let's start with a bass line, then add another pad. So tap on a pad that has the word bass written on it. Then tap on another pad. Now we have an intro, let's create a verse. With the intro pads running, tap on two more pads that are a different colour to the intro pads. Now, let's create a chorus. With the intro and verse pads playing, tap on two more pads that are the same colour as the two verse pads. And let's create an instrumental part as well. With the intro and verse pads playing, tap on the two verse pads, then tap on two other pads that are a different colour to the verse or chorus pads. Finally, we need an ending. With the intro and chorus pads playing, tap on the intro pads to turn them off. Then tap on one of the chorus pads to turn that off. And finally, tap on the last playing pad.
OK, so now that we've decided which pads we're going to use for the different parts of our song, we can now record it. For the song, we will start with the intro, then change to the verse, then the chorus, then the instrumental, back to the verse, then the chorus again, and then finally the ending. So it is intro, verse, chorus, instrumental, verse, chorus, ending. Tap on the record button, then tap on the pads in the correct order. Then tap on the stop button. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.